Drummers, I'm gonna teach you how to do the stick toss. This is one of my favorite tricks, and I think it looks the coolest too, just my opinion. This stick trick is actually really easy to do. It looks hard, but it's not. I recommend starting with the right hand. You know, it's basically how you're already holding your stick. Whenever you're ready to flip the stick, just move your finger up a little bit, where it's a quarter of the way up, and it's really just all in a, the flick of, of the finger. It's how you flip it, is how it's going to return to you. So, what I would recommend for practice Practice is maybe sitting on the couch or maybe where there's a carpet area to where you're probably going to drop the sticks quite a few times so when it drops it's not going to be too annoying or maybe on your bed but you want to do it so much repetitively that it almost becomes muscle memory so the way it kind of looks and it's all in the flip of this finger right here it's all it is okay once you get good at it, you know, you don't even look, just, just like clockwork. After you get the right hand down, then start working on the left hand. This one I struggled with for a while. Same thing, it's just, I'm right-handed, so this is just already going to be harder for me. You just keep, keep doing it, just repetitiveness, and then, you know, do back and forth. And then, once you get really comfortable with that, then you can do what's called a double toss, okay? And that takes a lot of time. So to incorporate this into a groove, I'll just use the hi-hat for an example. When you're in a groove, it's going to have to kind of be a slower groove because you're going to have to compensate this arm until you get this one back to replace that beat. So for instance, that's kind of how that looks like. I really do want to emphasize that practicing your drums to a metronome and just making sure that you are tight is the most utmost important thing that you can do. Don't do stick tricks to try to look cool if it's going to sacrifice how well your drumming is, ever. Don't ever do that. Once you're good and confident in your drumming skills, then slowly start implementing these cool stick tricks. It does look cool and it does add that extra sauce or flavor, if you will, but this is just kind of the cherry on top stuff. I hope you like this content. I hope this helps you. It helps us creators a lot just by liking and sharing this video. Send this to a drummer that you may know and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for the next one.